Could you imagine waking up to a crimson sky and a cold, arid landscape outside your window? This might be an everyday scene for future inhabitants of Mars. Indeed, the red planet has long captivated our collective curiosity. Its rust-colored surface, its towering volcanoes, and its vast dry canyons have made it a tantalizing target for exploration and potentially colonization. But this isn't about merely planting a flag on Martian soil. No, this is about creating a home, a city, a haven for human life millions of miles away from our blue planet. A city that thrives amidst the harsh Martian environment, defying the odds and standing as a testament to human ingenuity and resilience. This is the Martian dream, a concept that might seem far-fetched today, but may well be within our reach in the not-too-distant future. So, how would we go about building a city on a planet millions of miles away? Let's dive into it. The first step towards building our Martian city is designing it. While this might seem like an architect's dream, it presents a unique set of challenges. For instance, how do we protect inhabitants from the intense radiation levels and extreme temperatures? How do we create airtight structures to keep in the precious, life-sustaining atmosphere? The solutions are as innovative as they are necessary. One idea is to build underground, using Mars's own regolith as a natural shield against radiation and temperature fluctuations. Alternatively, we could construct domed structures, providing a safe and controlled environment within. These wouldn't be your average glass domes, though. They'd need to be made of advanced materials, capable of withstanding Mars's hostile conditions while letting in natural light. Regardless of the approach, the design of our Martian metropolis must be both functional and sustainable, taking into account not just the harsh Martian environment, but also the psychological well-being of its inhabitants. Designing the city is just the first hurdle. Next, we need to consider how we'll get around it. Imagine commuting on Mars. Sounds thrilling, doesn't it? As we picture life on the red planet, we must consider how we'll get around. Given Mars's rugged terrain and vast landscapes, innovative transportation solutions will be key. Think rovers, like those NASA has already successfully deployed. These could be upscaled for human passengers, enabling short-distance travel. For those longer Martian journeys, larger autonomous vehicles could come into play. But it's not just about moving people. We also need to move information. Communication with Earth and other Martian settlements would be crucial. We're talking about advanced satellite networks enveloping Mars, ensuring seamless data transmission. Going a step further, we might even see a dedicated Martian internet system, providing interplanetary connectivity. With transportation sorted, next comes the question of survival. How do we sustain life on Mars? Surviving on Mars is no easy task. It requires advanced life support systems. The essentials for life, air, water, and food, would be provided by a combination of advanced technology and smart resource management. First off, air. The Martian atmosphere is mostly carbon dioxide, with only traces of oxygen. To make the air breathable, we'd need to generate oxygen, possibly through a process called electrolysis, which splits water into hydrogen and oxygen. Water, the elixir of life, is another challenge. Mars is a dry planet, but it does have ice. Advanced systems would be needed to extract this ice and purify it for drinking. Recycling water would also be critical, with every drop being reused as many times as possible. And then there's food. Traditional farming is out of the question, but hydroponic and aeroponic farming, where plants are grown without soil, could provide fresh, nutritious produce. Survival is one thing, power is another. How do we power a city on Mars? Energy is a critical consideration for our Martian city. Picture this, vast fields of solar panels, soaking up the sun's rays, converting light into power. Mars, being closer to the sun than Earth, could harness solar power effectively. However, the red planet's dust storms pose a challenge, potentially covering solar panels and impairing their function. But we don't stop at solar. Imagine further, nuclear power plants humming away, providing a steady, reliable source of energy that isn't dependent on weather patterns. The use of nuclear power on Mars is a hot topic of debate, but its potential cannot be ignored. It could provide the energy needed for large-scale operations, such as manufacturing and mining, and even power the life support systems that keep our Martian city alive and breathing. Now that we have shelter, transport, survival, and power sorted, 
let's consider the social and cultural aspects of living on Mars. Living on Mars will require more than just physical adaptations. It's about creating a new way of life. Imagine the social and cultural challenges within this Martian metropolis. Life in a closed and isolated environment, far from Earth's familiar comforts, will ask much of its citizens. They'll need to be resilient, creative, and adaptable, forging a new society in an alien world. This Martian life will also redefine our concepts of time and seasons, with a day on Mars being just over 24 hours and a year stretching to nearly 700 Earth days, traditional calendars will need a radical rethink. Imagine celebrating your birthday every two Earth years or adjusting your sleep cycle to Mars's longer day. These changes will shape the Martian culture in ways we can't fully predict yet, but that's part of the excitement. Building a city on Mars is a daunting task, but it's not impossible. The prospect of a Martian city is both exciting and challenging. It's a future that involves a radical reimagining of life as we know it, a venture into the unknown that comes with its own set of unique hurdles. From the architectural design and infrastructure of a city capable of withstanding Mars' demanding environment, to the development of innovative transportation and communication systems, the task is colossal. Creating life-sustaining systems to provide essentials like air, water, and food is another monumental challenge. The city would also need a reliable energy source, with solar and potentially nuclear power playing a key role. And let's not forget the social and cultural transformation that living on Mars would necessitate. All these aspects emphasize the collective effort required from scientists, engineers, and visionaries around the world. The idea of a sustainable human presence on Mars is a testament to human ingenuity and our spirit of exploration.